Citywide is proud to announce that we'll be jetting off to Poznan, Poland to cover the Irish homeless soccer team's progress in this year's Homeless World Cup. But before that, we caught up with the team at Dublin Airport to gauge the mood in the camp before the off. Uh, I'm here with Mick Pender, who's the coach of the Irish homeless soccer team. So, Mick, uh, what's the mood in the camp anyway? Ah, it's great. This is, you, this is where it all kicks in. You can only tell all the guys see how all about us. Like I've done a good few of the trips and you, you tell them all about it. But when they get into the airport and, and all meet up in, in the kit and stuff like that, and with the, a lot of the families are here, it's great. It's good fun, you know. And uh, you were talking about accommodation and yeah. kind of changing circumstances. So could you well, well you? what we do is, like, um, we just get our own accommodation. Um, what we do is we treat the guys the best we can. Uh, look, uh, the best of gear. Good hotel, good accommodation, um, good food, and that. And um, all we ask them is just to do their best playing football, and then hopefully when they come back, um, that they move on in their lives and, and make change their lives for, for the for the good or for the better, you know. So I'm here with Andrew. So Andrew, thanks so much for talking to us. So how do you feel well, now? We're at the airport, and uh, before the off, how do you feel? Um, yeah, pretty optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Just can't wait to get over there and just start getting stuck in, like. You know, um, it's going to be a great experience and all, but it's, uh, I'm looking at holiday as well, but it's more about the football. I just can't wait to go over and start getting stuck in. Like, I think when we go over there, we're going to do a bit of sightseeing and uh, just get a favour of the place and then a bit of light training and then, and then Saturday is when the competition actually kicks off. Like, so, uh, really looking forward to it, yeah. I know I asked you before, like, but you do fancy your chances then, do you? It's like, yeah, as I said, yeah, we've a uh, pretty period team, um, pretty fast-paced team um, the lads are all very skillful as I said it's very attack-minded kind of team so uh, and the Irish teams like uh, you know we're good, we're good defensively you know good at attacking very physical side but um, I think this team has it all it's a credit to to, the, to yourself and the station that you can actually let the let the let the viewers let the public know what these lads have gone through to to get here and what it's like over there. Like people think that it's going to be, you know, they're going over there. Like three games a day, 15 minutes where the ball goes out. You'll see how, how fast and how live it is. Then is there anything that you want to say to even your friends and family at home? or? Um, yeah, I just want to thank um, my family um, for all the support they give me over all the years. And uh, my friends as well. And uh, my, two, my two kids, Chloe and Andrew. And uh, my partner, Shireen. And uh, my, new, my new baby that's on the way. And uh, sorry, Alicia and Scott as well. These guys have trained so hard to actually get to where they are to compete. So even just to get here, it's a remarkable achievement for every one of the guys. Yeah.